History of frozen foods the history of frozen foods dates back to the early 20th century when Clarence Birdseye, an American inventor and entrepreneur, discovered a new method of freezing food. Birdseye observed that when fish he caught in the Arctic were frozen quickly in the frigid air, they tasted much fresher when he later thawed and cooked them. This led him to develop a process of flash freezing food in which it was quickly frozen at very low temperatures to preserve its quality. In 1923, Birdseye founded the General Seafood Corporation, which began selling frozen fish in New York City. The success of this venture led to the development of a variety of other frozen foods, including vegetables, fruits, and meat. By the 1930s, frozen food had become a popular and convenient option for consumers, and a number of companies had emerged to sell frozen foods in grocery stores. During World War II, frozen food became even more important as a means of preserving food for soldiers and civilians. The U.S. military developed and used frozen food extensively during the war, and this helped to further popularize the concept of frozen food among the general public. In the years following the war, frozen food continued to evolve and improve. Advances in technology and quality control made it possible to produce high-quality frozen food that was both convenient and nutritious. The development of more efficient freezing and packaging methods allowed for the production and storage of larger quantities of frozen food, making it easier to transport and distribute to a wider audience. The 1950s and 1960s saw the rise of frozen dinners, which became a staple of American households. These prepackaged meals often included a main dish, vegetables, and dessert, and were marketed as a quick and easy alternative to home-cooked meals. During the 1970s and 1980s, concerns about the nutritional value and quality of frozen food emerged. Some critics argued that frozen food was not as nutritious as fresh food and that the freezing process could damage the flavor and texture of certain foods. However, advances in freezing technology and quality control helped to address these concerns and improve the overall quality of frozen food. Frozen meals, also known as TV dinners, originated in the United States in the 1950s. The concept was first introduced by the Swanson Company, a major food manufacturer, in response to the company's need to dispose of a large surplus of Thanksgiving turkeys that it had been unable to sell. The company's solution was to package the turkey meat with some vegetables and mashed potatoes in an aluminium tray, which could be heated up in a conventional oven at home. The first frozen meal was called the TV dinner, and it was so named because the company believed that people would want to eat it while watching television, which was becoming increasingly popular at the time. The TV dinner was an immediate success, and the Swanson Company quickly expanded its line of frozen meals to include other entrees, such as meatloaf and fried chicken, as well as desserts. There are many examples of frozen foods, ranging from simple ingredients like fruits and vegetables to complex, pre-packaged meals. Here are some examples. Vegetables. Frozen vegetables are a convenient and healthy addition to any meal. Common frozen vegetables include peas, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and spinach. Fruits. Frozen fruits can be used in smoothies, baked goods, or as a sweet snack. Some popular frozen fruits include berries, mangoes, and peaches. Meats. Frozen meats can be used in a variety of recipes, from stews and soups to stir fries and casseroles. Chicken, beef, pork, and seafood are all available frozen. Pre-packaged meals. These meals are designed to be heated up quickly and easily and come in a variety of styles and flavors, such as pasta dishes, frozen pizzas, and frozen dinners. Breads and baked goods. Frozen breads and baked goods can be kept in the freezer for later use. Examples include frozen pizza dough, bagels, and pastries. Desserts. Frozen desserts are a popular option for those with a sweet tooth. Examples include ice cream, sorbet, and frozen fruit bars. What is the most common frozen food? The most common frozen food varies depending on the country and region, but globally, frozen vegetables are among the most commonly consumed frozen foods. In many countries, frozen vegetables are a popular and convenient way to get a variety of nutrients, as they are often less expensive than fresh vegetables and can be stored for longer periods of time. In the United States, frozen dinners or frozen meals are among the most common frozen foods. These prepackaged meals typically include a main entree, such as chicken or beef, along with side dishes like vegetables or rice. They are designed to be heated up quickly and easily in the microwave or oven, making them a convenient option for busy families or individuals. Other common frozen foods include frozen pizzas, frozen fruits, and frozen breads. Ultimately, the most common frozen food will depend on factors like geography, culture, and individual dietary preferences. 
While frozen food offers many benefits, there are also some potential disadvantages to consider. 1. Nutrient loss. Frozen foods may lose some of their nutrients during the freezing process, especially if they are stored for long periods of time. 2. Additives. Many frozen foods contain additives such as preservatives, salt, and sugar to help them last longer and taste better. While these additives are generally safe in small amounts, they may be unhealthy if consumed in excess. 3. Texture and flavor changes. Some foods may have their texture and flavor altered after being frozen and thawed. This can make them less appealing to some people. 4. Environmental impact. The packaging and transportation of frozen foods can have a negative impact on the environment, as it often requires a lot of energy and resources. 5. Food safety concerns. While frozen foods are generally considered safe, there is a risk of foodborne illness if they are not handled and cooked properly. It's important to follow proper food safety guidelines when handling and cooking frozen foods. Frozen food can be a convenient and healthy option for many people, but it's important to be aware of the potential disadvantages and make informed decisions based on personal preferences and dietary needs. Why frozen foods are in demand? Frozen foods are in demand for several reasons, including convenience, affordability, and food safety. One of the main reasons why frozen foods are in demand is because they are very convenient. 1. Frozen foods can be stored in the freezer for long periods of time, and they can be prepared quickly and easily. This makes them a great option for busy families and individuals who don't have a lot of time to spend on meal preparation. 2. Affordability. Frozen foods are often less expensive than fresh foods, especially if the fresh foods are out of season. This makes them an attractive option for people who are looking to save money on their grocery bills. Frozen foods are often considered to be safer than fresh foods, as the freezing process can help to kill harmful bacteria that can cause foodborne illnesses. 3. Additionally, frozen foods are less likely to spoil or go bad, which can help to reduce food waste. 4. Variety. Frozen foods come in a wide variety of options, including fruits, vegetables, meats, and pre-packaged meals. 5. This allows consumers to have a lot of variety in their diet without having to spend a lot of time and effort on meal preparation. Today, frozen food is a multi-billion dollar industry that is sold around the world. Frozen food is available in a wide variety of forms, including individual ingredients, pre-packaged meals, and specialty items like frozen pizzas and desserts. Frozen food remains a popular and convenient option for consumers who want to save time and effort in the kitchen, and advances in technology continue to make frozen food more nutritious and flavorful than ever before. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment and click on the like button.